All right, check this out, man. We don't have to. We chose to. We choose to. Right? This is what's up, African. What's up, African? How you say hello? The black woman, the original woman. Right? Everything that we see came from people. Right? Okay. Came from thoughts. Thoughts come from people. People come from black women. Right? Everything that comes out of a black woman is African. We're African bred, African born. So when you're acknowledging another human being, what's up, African? When you see me, you see rats. What's up, African? Right? right? We don't have to say what's up, African. We choose to. We choose, we to. choose to. My voice is still a little raspy because I gave my heart and soul yesterday. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I didn't come. Tell them where you was at yesterday. Where you <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, we was at the 20th anniversary of uh, the Million Man March. And so it's like, damn, 20th anniversary of the Million Man March. And it's not to celebrate our black utopian society. It's not to celebrate the nation that we built of our own. It's not to celebrate th that we know for sure that we secured the, the, the longevity uh, and the prosperity of our royal bloodline. Security. 1995, they, they came out. 2015, they came out again addressing the same system and structure. See, Res the Ruler and I, we're black to this. That means we do this lifestyle every day. We didn't just buy a flag or have a flag at the march or for the march. You know what I'm talking about? We decided to understand what, where the, uh, we were going with this and we don't want a, a sob story. So we decided, what's the solution for black people? Prosperity, man. Prosperity. Nationalism. Nationalism. Self-accountability, abundance, right thought, right knowledge. So we come out with nationalism or else. There's no white solutions for black problems. Right? Born Royalty Success and Achievement Club is a very exclusive group of young black entrepreneurs that are going to place wealth back into our communities. In the 21st century and beyond, our network determines our network. Our, I'm sorry, our network determines our net worth, right? So we have to transcend, we go, if our aim is to go from generational poverty to generational wealth in one lifetime, then we gotta have right knowledge, right strategy, and proper execution. Without those things, there's nothing. And so that's what we about with What's Up African. This is Res the Ruler, right here, this man you see right here, one, the most, what, one of the most, if not the most influential black man that ever existed. Based on, I mean, I know thousands of people. I, I live in 12 states and travel all across the world and country. I met a lot of people. This guy right here is who I decided to plug and merge my own efforts, my own visions with and spend a lifelong and lifelong efforts building the black utopia. Right, you got something for them, Reds? Hey, man, I mean, you, you pretty much hit all the points, man. I mean, nationalism is our goal, you know, with everything that we do. And we understand that nationalism uh, is about establishing that kingdom mindset, man. You know, if we kings and queens, we identifying as such, and we establishing our kingdom everywhere we step. And um, Erasing those imaginary boundary lines that we once uh, existed under, or that we still exist under, you know, in this imperialistic colonial society. You know, seeing beyond those. That most exist under. Yeah, that most exist under. And, and, and seeing beyond those lines and attaching ourselves with that power, that melanin power, that black power that we all have, you know, inherently from the time that you're born, from, the, from your conception, you know what I mean? You can't change that. So that's why being hella black and hella proud is most important. Being, when you stay black, it's about the mindset. You know what I mean? It's about, you can't do nothing but be black on your skin, but staying black in the mind is where we at with it. We about reestablishing that pride in the essence of being black. The essence, man. And, and that's what it's all about. Being black first. Black first, man. Right? First. Black labor, white wealth. That's so, us as What's Up African, we had our own thing. Nationalism or else. Yesterday, earlier this week, we heard about Brother Maurice, one of our power group inner circle members. He made a call just like Farrakhan made a call. Farrakhan made a call, and then plenty of people showed up for maybe pictures. 
right? Or maybe an experience, maybe to see something cool. Maybe for, they, they really wanted black liberation and black love. Yeah, right? we, we don't know. We showed up to work. He made a call. We showed up to work. I, I don't know if you guys know where we're at, but I'm going to let Brother Ashby, the, the man of the Baltimore. hour, this yeah, is fixed Baltimore. Baltimore. We in East Baltimore right now. East Baltimore, North of Asquith. And neither one of us are from this area. Philly. Listen, I put a call, I put a call out on Tuesday. I, I think y'all might have saw it on Tuesday. Tuesday. And these brothers from Philly are here on a Sunday. Boom, and I live in VA now. And brother, right, brothers from Philly. And VA. Yep, and so the the power of, of which we can project a call mm. and activate our blackness. Mm. Ain't no, and ain't yeah. no. Mm. And if you want to talk no about, stopping. if you want to talk activate. about reach one, each one, each uh, reach one, each one. Hey, uh, young guys, come here real quick. Beep this though, because it's about each one, each one, right? We're all connected. We all got the ultimate power. So. King Kwame, introduce yourself. EJ, EJ Star. My name is King Kwame. EJ Star. So give him just real quick, like, where, why y'all here? Where y'all? Where y'all came from? And like, what's good? What's fish Baltimore mean? Either y'all from Baltimore? Nah, I'm from, I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. So I just came out here for the movement. Come talk to my brothers, and sisters. Just meet with them. Meet new people. What? How did you? 18. So, I mean, we out here. That's like the youth. <laughs> black, young black men. Young black men. You cannot stop young black men. It's whatever you put in front of them, you cannot stop their mind. You can't stop their heart. You can't stop their spirit. You definitely can't stop the blackness that is on their skin. You can't stop young black men. It's all about us, us giving them the right direction at the end of the day, man. I'll take my glass off and be personal. It's all about giving them the right instruction, the proper instruction, man, and leading by example. You know, I'm 32 years old, and like you just, this young man here is 18 years old, he's 21. So it's like, we all are, you know, we all are the future. You know what I'm saying? We always saying they're the future. It's like, no, we, we all have a role to play in laying the foundation for the next generation. So it's like, we all are the future, we all have a role. So that's why we're out here and being active outside of our general location, our general communities, because it takes you leading by example to show that, hey, look, like, your neighborhood is my neighborhood. Like, your community is my community. Like, because we black. Like, look, like global African mindset is like community first, man. Like, black first. Like, if these people got a problem and I'm able to help them solve it, then why not? You know what I mean? And I would expect the same thing from them. So it's establishing rapport and establishing relationship and building strong bonds that's gonna last a lifetime, man. So this is an experience that none of us is ever gonna forget. But this is gonna change the path that they might have been on before they ever encountered myself or before they ever encountered King Leon X. And that's what we about. Protecting the queen being present for the camera.